is Chad Roberts with RPG Geek, and I'm here with Chris Spivey from Darkie Houston Studios talking about Harlem Unbound. So Chris, tell us about Harlem Unbound and those wonderful Enies you have around your neck. Uh, Harlem Unbound has always been a passion project of mine. I yep. started pitching the idea a few years ago, mm -hmm. and I got a lot of, that's a great idea, but it's just not right for us, and I just decided the best way to do it was to do it myself and make sure it was done how I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's been a smash hit. We're in multiple museums. I may have won three gold innies for my <laughs> first project ever made that I led, directed, wrote, and everything. Yep. So people loved it. So tell us about Harlem Bound, what it is, what it's about, and what it does. Uh, Harlem Bound flips the standard Lovecraft ideas uh, about race on its head by presenting African Americans, LGBTQ, uh, Jewish, Irish, Italian immigrants as protagonists with a focus on African Americans and them encountering and battling the mythos. And it's set during the Harlem Renaissance, which is almost sort of a golden period, a, a movement where ideas, music, art, and literature were inspiring and changing politics. Right. And it's set in it is set in Harlem in like uh, in like the early 20th century. You got the whole timeline land out here. So in the book itself, when when people pick up this book and they play the book, what's going to be? Is it going to have the whole system in there? It, does it tie in, or is it an expansion book for another system that's already so existing? I wanted to make it as accessible as possible. So uh -huh. I have it's. You can use it for Cthulhu, or you can use it for the Gumshoe rules. Mm -hmm. All the Gumshoe rules are included. For the Chaosium Cthulhu rules, there's a lot of them in there, but it also gives you specific page numbers to go to your core 7th edition books to access stuff. Gotcha. But it's full of scenarios, it gives you the full history of Harlem, it touches on everything that's important. Gotcha, gotcha. And so, and, and you won Enies for this, you got best, uh, this was best what, what was it again? Uh, my, my humble brag, uh, best writing, best writing, best setting, best setting. and best cover. The uh, Brennan Reese, my right hand man, did the cover and it is incredible. It yeah. catches the eye no matter where you are. I just when I was flipping through it earlier, I was looking at how the art, not just the cover, but it sort of just incorporates this whole art style throughout the entire book and it just brings it all together. I designed it so it would tell the story of Harlem in a vibe and feel that was resonant to the era. Yeah. So um, I know as of a week or two ago, this was not available on your website. You had sold through this, right? That is correct. So if I know people are picking this up at the show. No, they're no longer. It is sold out at Gen Con. Uh, so if people want to get this in, they can get the PDF. But if they want to get a print edition of this, is there any avenue for that at this time? They can go to the IPR website. Uh -huh. Or if they, they are lucky enough that I managed to find two boxes, so I've got about 20 copies that I will put up for sale when I get home. Oh, awesome. And then it's all gone. Awesome, Chris. Well, this is a great book, and congratulations on your awards. Thank you. And thank you for coming on and talking about Harlem Unbound. Sure, I appreciate it. Thank you.